I can come over there if it makes if if it makes you uh, more comfortable. Oh. Got it! <laughs> oh, we got it! Yes. Hmm. Yeah, we should probably net that one. Yeah, that's a tank. Say the word, Cole. I'm saying the word. The word? The word has been said. Okay, we'll start the video right here. Look at this. This doesn't look like somewhere you should have a bass boat. That's why we're here. Got my man. The myth, the legend. What's up, guys? Justin Royal, out again. We're not going to talk about it. We have our, our best time out fishing, fishing success-wise anyways. We've had a damn good time every time we go out, but today I think we're going to make it happen. We're at a new place. Neither of us have ever fished this area of this lake, river system before. New and water. And it's clean. It's got giant boulders. We might throw big swim baits. We might bed fish. We might throw top water. We're gonna throw whatever it takes to catch a damn fish. Redemption mission number 37. Let's That's do exactly it. Exactly right. Let's get them. That's a really annoying. Sounds like a buzz bait over there. How you want your buzz bait anyway? Clicking and clacking. Yep. Yeah. Got a little squeaker over there. Blasted? What is that on? <laughs> what a jumper. It, it's on a Cirque du Soleil. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that fish is. That guy's Acro it. Acrobaticals. Come on up here, buddy. He's strong. Jeez. He does not yeah, want he's a, He does not want to come to the boat, Timmy, guys. Timmy the current fish. I'm afraid here. To, I'm afraid that, that you're gonna have to. What are you doing? <laughs> come home. Deal. Let us touch you. That's Deal not bad. Chatter flush. Solid little three to start the day. Not bad fish. Hell yeah. Ooh. Yeah, on the spot remote. I like the look of that. What that, about that? That is sharp. That's that heater series. Is that the 7-2 seven seven two two Is that what you've been throwing here? Yeah, yeah, I need my, to, I probably that's my chatterbait banger right there. You should. I don't have a chatterbait rod but. that I feel is right, so. That one came on. Heck yeah, on. man. He crushed it. So, first one of the day. Back out here with Ben. Shout out to the MF or Nation. Let's let this fish go, Coleslaw. Boulder fishing with chatter crickets. <laughs> We're dragging chatter crickets through boulders, boys. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> on the board. And got the lucky bird poop on the rod, looks like. Heck yeah. That's how, you, that's, that's how they... Draws them that's in. That's what makes them eat it. You get that little, little... Hey, Cole, did they ever tell you about that little white speck on top of chicken? <laughs> that, that little white speck uh -huh. is chicken, too. <laughs> that was a good fish that just followed me there. That was five pounder probably. Which is weird. They usually don't follow this bait. It's either eat or turn down. That's not great. The good thing is you can't get them though. Uh oh. I'm gonna go in there. That's not worth not worth dicking around tree for. Cricket. Tree cricket. I'll blow this spot out to save my ungettable bait while this bluegill tries to eat it off the surface. Unpurchasable cricket. Ooh, big old girl rolled off that bed right there. You guys ever have one of those times where you get your, your bait stuck in a tree when you cast? <laughs> Let's see, uh, shall we see if she comes back? That was like a five or six pounder. We should. And you know, now that you can't see anything in there. Maybe you put the trolling motor on 10. Just send it that way. And blow a plume at them. Deal. That gets some smelling that there's food in there. I've heard that that's why you catch bed fish. <laughs> Secret of the pros. I'd rather take a couple years. I'd rather take a couple years. I'm gonna get in there with you. If I snake Jeez. him. Oh, oh. Yep. Pretty good one too. Ooh, I just He's got going bumped. straight sideways. I just got bumped. Oh, got what bumped is going again. on here? This one might be a giant or a meat. They just meet one. A striper. Oh, striper guy. Cool. That's is cool. that a striper? We or a always wiper? catch something funny too, don't we? Last dude. time it was a snake. Now we got. Ah. Oh, they're all around him, dude. Get oh. in there. They're right here. Look at him. Look at him. Got him. Stripes. Doubled oh, up with the so stripes. Doubled so up. Cool. You watching this, Cole? Yeah. <laughs> okay, sick. are these stripers or wipers? They, it could be uh, hybrids, but they're too big to be white I, bass. No, they're striper. <laughs> I've <laughs> never caught a striper before. Really? Yeah. Yeah, these are striper. Heck I'm scared yeah, to boat bro. flip. Every time I boat flip with a chat, I freaking Dude. break it off. So. 
It's bigger than the largemouth I caught, dude. Nice, a solid four or five pound striper, maybe. God, that's so badass. I've never caught one of these. Aren't they oh, yours is fatty, dude. <laughs> Chubbed yeah, up. Yours is like the male. Mine's the female. There you go. Yeah. Or something. Sense. They're spawning on bait fish out there and on top. And they'll get you with them top ones. I don't know if you guys <laughs> could see that, but there was two of them, like, just looking at mine with the shad, and, and he flipped in. Yeah, I flipped the, the he, jackhammer That one in was there. just like, me. And just uh, grabbed it. Yeah, we left one behind. Too aren't bad these, I didn't have another rod. Aren't these supposed to be really good eating? I can't remember. Regardless, this is my first striper. That's pretty sick. Oh, wait, I, hang on. Oh, it's all right. I was so confused when my swim bait was going straight sideways. Like, why is he pulling like that this? That is fun. That was a fun fight. That was cool as hell. A little stained in here. Hammers galore. 69 in here, 69.8. About to be 73 in the afternoon. You know what, let's not do this. This doesn't look that good. May release, oh, may release at any time without warning. Without warning. No alarms, no exactly. lights. It says you might not want to access past the cable, but you can, I think. I don't got my glasses on. Hey, oh, wait till we get up there. Entry prohibited, probably. Where's the stripies? Could go try to catch that bed fish if it's worth it. Probably not, but that was in. Oh. That's not good. That was a no point. That was not ideal. I think we're good though. <laughs> good God. Dale! Holy balls! I've never jumped one quite like that before. Boys up for a second. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> we did. I'm I'm probably lucky it wasn't like higher up. We'll see when we go to run if it's uh I guess. I'm sorry, it's only like 10 miles. You gotta get them over that. Whew. That's how you get over them, you know? <laughs> That's the quick way. We ain't slowing down for nothing. A lot of fish here. Finally. Animals in the area. Mm -hmm. a two pound follower, guys. Buckinghams. That's a good one. Do it. Oh, we got it. Yes. Mm, yeah, we should probably net that one. Yeah, that's a tank. On the Chad. Here you go. Thank you, sir. Yahtzee. <laughs> That'll work. Oh, man. How about that, man? I saw him on scope right before that. He, I, My thing was coming up to me. He just, Turned around and got it. Big old girl came up and roasted it. Uh huh. You bet. That's what you come to town for, huh, man? Man, that's my first largemouth of the day. On the old chopper. Get to the chopper. Done. Nice. Heck yeah, we'll post spawn girl probably. Yeah, definitely. Sweet. Hate the Chad, huh? That's fun as hell, man. That was awesome. I turned around at the right oh. moment just in time to see the action. Heck yeah. Good fish. Probably a lot more up here too. What, seven something probably? Yeah, Throw so. on the scale quick. Seven ish. Looks seven -ish like a seven isher to me. If I ever seen one. Seven ish. Seven ish. And a half. Seven ish and a half. So and her eyes are huge. Big old eyeballs. Long girl. E long yeah. girl. A little almost eighter. Seven. What is that? I can't see. Seven. Seven point nine. Seven nine. Seven eight seven nine, hell yeah, brother! Almost eight pounder. We decided seven yeah, eight seven, seven nine. nine. Yeah, big old girl. I'd like to know what she was like before she dumped her eggs, but that's a thick one. We'll take her out. Beautiful fish too. too. Come on, girl. There she goes. Awesome. 
Whew, that's a way to get it started. Dude, heck yeah. Dragon in the boat. Dragon! Come do it, buddy. Oh my God, that one's huge. Oh, did you see that one? That was like 11 pounds probably. That one was huge, dude. I saw like the like one, two pounder following it and then that one was like a fucking whale. So we're gliding in the balls, right area. Dude, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna spend some time here. There's some giants back behind these boulders. I'm sure on a bed, they probably both chased it off. Sucks we can't see very well. So we're fishing around these boulders and throwing swim baits and having some followers that are in that five, six pound range. And I just had one that was well over 10 pounds follow. We think there's probably some beds in between here. So put this up front, see if we can look down on them a little bit better. It is deep right here. It's hard to see. Ooh, look at that follower. Unless that's a carp. Could be a carp. Nope. That's what I'm saying, dude. Them big black ones. Holy shit. That's dude. what you're looking for, bro. That's, that's that just a bass. followed you out. Yeah, that's a largemouth bass, bro. Hey, why don't you have the lithium batteries? Well, because those are pieces too, it turns out. Wait, is that a lithium battery that just died? Nope, because that one was already broken. This is a Walmart battery. Oh. How's it going? Good, how doing? We're doing all right. Any chance you could jump start our boat for us? We got jumper cables, but our engine battery is dead. I can come over there if it makes if if it makes you uh, more comfortable for me to. He, I, I, I believe he'll do a pretty good job of <laughs> keeping us from bumping into each other. How y'all doing today? <laughs> We're fine. Glad to hear it. We just trying to find a place out of the wind. They got these blue yeah, top definitely. optimas over here, Ben. They're gonna get us running. No kidding. All right, uh, these are hot guys, so don't touch them to your teeth. <laughs> don't lick them. I'll try not to. Thanks, Justin. Yes, sir. Yay. <laughs> Good deal. Thank you very much, guys. Yeah. Y'all, uh, Y'all saved us today. Y'all done y'all's good deed, and we sure appreciate it. Thank y'all so much. Well, the uh, big bed fish didn't hit the deck. Couldn't get her to bite. We were up fishing a bunch of boulders, clean water and stuff. And now look at this. Total mix-up. Time to uh, throw some swim jigs, topwater frogs, stuff like that. A little bit of grass. Dude. Or why weren't we doing this earlier? This yeah, is awesome. Yeah, why don't we just come straight here? Let's just do this. This is great. Uh, we apparently also had a dead battery, which isn't my lithium battery. This is So this is like a Walmart battery. I replaced my lithium because that crapped out. And you can't jump start, even though I got cables, you can't jump start a 36-volt lithium to a 12-volt anything. So the fine folks in the... Uh, what was a wake setter? Malibu, yeah. Yeah, oh, we got the, the old wake border. $700,000. Kyle wake, had to save board. the day today. Kyle did it. Now it's time. For Kyle's, to... Kyle's old parent. Kyle's grandparents. Kyle's grandparents. That's exactly right. Yeah. Trust fund. Let's get some. Okay, let's grass. do it. We got to. <laughs> yeah, you too, man. You guys crushing them back there? Glide bait. What's that? Swim bait. Okay. Yep. That's about all we caught though. That's about all we've got though. Gotcha. Yep. You did crush that one on a chatterbait this morning. And now you put it down for a couple hours. Got one on a chatterbait, put it down for seven hours. He's back. <laughs> Here it is. Bites heating up. See, this is what I'm talking about. How if we? Not, oh, is that a guad? A guad. Yes, it is. Yes. That's a nice guad too, dude. Crushed a guad. That's my first ever. Yeah. I didn't get one awesome. with you when we were at Travis. That's a decent one too, man. He's probably a pound and a half. Dude, that thing is vicious as hell. This is a Guadalupe bass. State fish of Texas. State fish of Texas. They don't exist hardly anywhere, but Colorado somehow, River system. Yeah, it's a state fish. Yeah. I thought it was Sherlunker bass, but I guess not. 
little bitty mean guy. It's pretty cool though. Look how big that fish is compared to the bait. He's eating too. Hungry little dude. Sweet. Awesome. They got that small mouth uh, mentality. We've been having so many followers and just. All I had to do was pick up a jackhammer. So <sighs> yeah, you, you really <laughs> brought that fish into me. I don't know. We were way down fishing we grass. No we ran 20 miles back up. I hit a boulder earlier, and I think I got a crack in the seal of my lower unit, so I'm probably gonna take that to mechanics tomorrow. So uh, we're hoping our good luck comes back. We had like good luck for the first half hour of the day. Then a little bit of bad luck. A little bit of bad luck, just briefly for like eight hours, and now we're back. <laughs> Trying to get on that sun angle change bite. Well, we got back home a couple days ago, guys, from this trip from this video, and we got ourselves a little bit of a problem. Let me explain to you what happened, since I don't know if I told you very good, but basically, big old like 10 to 15 foot across boulder, about that far below the surface, and luckily it was smooth, so we hit it with the front of the boat, and luckily we weren't going fast, going like six, seven miles an hour. We went right up over the top of it, porpoised over the top, and I put, pulled it back out of gear really quick, the engine, so the prop didn't hit it hard. Um, but it still came down and crushed the, the front of the, the lower unit here. And we were running, and I started running. I put it back on plane. I'm like, oh, okay, we're all good. As soon as I let it off on plane, idled for a little bit, went to put it back on plane, hit the gas, and wouldn't didn't have any power. Alarm came on that it was overheating, so I knew we had some issues. Got off the water and realized that uh, we got a big old dent in the front of the lower unit. So this is like the four holes that are supposed to look like that, that are the water pickups right down there. It's now one giant hole. Um, I don't know what that exactly means because I'm not a mechanic for what's going on inside this guy, but basically it's, uh, it's not 100% or even close to it. And we are out of commission for a second. And that is no good because looking online, there are about zero lower units available right now for the uh, four stroke Pro XS 250, uh, the newer ones. So uh, the new ones are supposed to be like seven or $8,000. There's refurbished ones for like three or $4,000. I found one or two of those. So if you guys know anyone that has lower units for a 2021 250 Pro XS Mercury four stroke, um, please let me know in the comments below or send me a message whatever, I'd appreciate that. Also, my uh, my side scan transducer looks 100% fine, but it also doesn't work properly, and that sucks as well, so I gotta buy a new one of those. I'm trying to contact the insurance company, and of course, we switched insurance the day before this accident happened. Literally switched, and so we're not even in their system or anything yet. They're like, oh, we, we need a couple days for it to really process, so thank you State Farm Insurance. Um, Jake from State Farm probably needs a week or so at least for us to even show up in the system before they can even start working on this. It would happen, but we're gonna push on. Despite you, Jake from State Farm, we are going to push on and go film probably places where we can trolling motor back to the ramp if need be, and we're not gonna send this baby too hard, even though I wanna fish some tournaments the next couple days. Might just have to send it anyways, cool. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. We did risk it all to uh, catch good fish and did stick a good fish up there in the boulders. And hopefully you guys wanna see more from there because I need to go back. Always good to see Mr. Justin Roy. I'll link his channel down below so you guys can go check his stuff out as well. He's out there grinding like I am, doing it for a living and um, no one works harder. So go check his stuff out. And I'm gonna go try to get this boat fixed. Catch you guys soon. I'm out of here. Peace.